What's up everyone, this is MCS Dave from Modern Combat Solutions and today I'm bringing you some footage from the scenario session at Southern Alabama Paintball located in Theodore, Alabama just outside Mobile. Now one of the coolest things about this field and it is one of my favorites in the area is that every afternoon session is a scenario game and they're really well thought out. One of the, the benefits to this field is that the scenarios that you play will affect the next scenario uh, that follows it. And in this particular game we were playing a group of insurgents on red that were trying to deny the CIA and local law enforcement uh, the CIA compound and some intelligence that was hidden uh, in there. Now, one of the things that we wanted to do uh, with my friends from Force Recon, another team that's uh, local to the area, uh, is go ahead and hold that compound and deny the CIA access to it. So that's where our video picks up. And if you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe and uh, we'll see you out on the field. Now one of the things I wanted to do with defense is actually go ahead and hold the crow's nest on top of the CQB facility just for its field of fire and the ability to direct and call out uh, player positions as they were moving up. The town. One of the buildings. Yeah. I got no... It's a clear shot for me. Now it's hard to see here guys because of the way the video is, but there are about two or three guys in the tree line that are trying to breach the facility at this point, and that's what I was shooting at. Watch your right, there's one over by the building. Alright guys, so usually I don't talk smack when I play, but I was really excited for that shot. It was a single ball right to the goggles. I was really excited. So if it comes off as bad sportsmanship, my bad, but it was an epic shot and I got overexcited. So, there. Don't point, you're out, man. And uh, you guys saw me a minute ago take my eyes off of the battlefield and focus on reloading. And this is a good reason why you don't and you should actually be prepared and keep situational awareness. Because I ended up getting flanked because I was not paying attention. And this causes problems for me uh, for the rest of the video. You'll see. Now here I'm trying to move back so that there's kind of a smaller target in that little window uh, with the dude downstairs in front of me. Now, this guy really had me dialed in at this point, which is why I'm having such a difficult time uh, dealing with the situation.
Ah. Can you see? Check. All right, thanks. Good shot. Now, see, this is what I absolutely right. love about the paintball community out here. Uh, I thought I got hit. I asked him for a check. He thought he hit me. Uh, when I was coming out, he said he couldn't see any paint. So he's like, no, no, you're clean. And that's really awesome. That's that's great stuff right there. And that's one of the reasons that I absolutely love Southern Alabama paintball and also paintball the sport in general. So after getting taken out, I decided to head back because that was my mission objective for the game. And honestly, when you play any kind of MCS game, whether it's with MagFed, Pop, or Pump, doesn't really matter. It's all about that objective. So I'm heading back into the village here to ensure that our objective is held. But right there, you're watching the CIA guys run away with our case. So it was all for naught, but uh, I ended up clearing the area anyway, and then that would be the end of the game. So I want to thank you guys for watching, uh, especially if you made it all the way to the end. And uh, again, if you like the channel, you know, like it, subscribe it, and then uh, we'll see you out on the field.